Yo, what's up everyone? I've got a game of some Modern Warfare 2 TDM on the map Salvage, and I start off using the Farmist with Slate of Hand, Stopping Power, and Ninja. And, I don't know, I'm not really gonna watch the gameplay to comment on it, although it was, uh, pretty good gameplay, but... I'm gonna be talking about the Modern Warfare 3 perks, killstreaks, and guns. Um, let me get into it here. Um, so for the death streaks in Modern Warfare 3, there's gonna be Juiced, which is lightweight, and it'll be a 4 death streak. Uh, Martyrdom and Final Stand are gonna be in there too at 4. And then there is Revenge, which is kind of like a uh, permanent UAV that'll just let you see the person who killed you. Uh, stopping power for uh, for one kill. It'll be a five death streak, which will be interesting to see that, because they already have it built into the gun, supposedly. And then Dead Man's Hand, which you will run around with C4 in your hand. So that's a six death streak, which seems kind of overpowered, but I don't know. And then the perk setup. And the, I know in uh, Black Ops, the perks were completely... I don't want to say they were all unbalanced, but Slate of Hand pretty much dominated the second slot, and Ghost dominated the first. Um, so in the first perk slot, in Modern Warfare 3, you'll have Extreme Conditioning, Slate of Hand, which will be reloading faster and swapping weapons faster. It won't let you aim down, <laughs> it won't let you aim down sights faster anymore, they have a new perk to do that. Uh, Scavenger, Blind Eye, which is undetectable from enemy air support, and faster uh, launcher lock-ons for air support. And then Recon, which is Explosive Damage Marks Target on Hood, plus Bullet Damage Marks Target on Hood. I'm kind of reading this, that's why I probably should have read these over before I recorded this commentary. Um, yeah, so that'll be interesting. Blind Eye and Assassin are going to be what Ghost is, only split into two perks. Um, in the second perk slot, you got Hardline, Assassin, which will be immune to UAV, Motion Sensors, Thermal Vision, uh, Heartbeat Sensors and counter UAV and AMP, which being immune to counter, or, uh, counter UAV is a pretty good thing, so I think a lot of people will be running that. Uh, overkill's back, which lets you have two primary weapons. I don't think shotguns are going to be secondary, so that'll be a good class if you want to have an assault rifle and an AA-12. Uh, quick draw, which is faster aim down sights, and faster animation of using equipment while you're throwing your grenades, so stuns and uh, flashbangs will come out quicker. Then there's Blast Shield, which is Flak Jacket, which it says immune to most explosives and immune to stun and flashes when you get the uh, Blast Shield Pro, which will be cool. I hope uh, it's a lot better than the bl uh, Blast Shield was in Modern Warfare 2 and more like Flak Jacket and Black Ops. And the third perk slot, you got Sit Rep, which everyone knows. Dead Silence um, and Dead Silence Pro will be no fall damage. Stalker, which lets you move faster while aiming down sights, and there's a uh, delay on claymores. Marksman, which lets you hold your breath longer while scoped on uh, sights. And then steady aim. Let's see what the point streaks are. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so those are the perks. Um, what I think is going to dominate, I think, let me look here. I'm going to say that for the first perk slot, the, uh, the blind eye perk, which will make you invisible to enemy air support, is probably going to dominate just because that seems like it's the best one. If Scavenger lets you replenish Claymores, then people might use that. If it doesn't, I don't see a lot of people using it. Um, Quick Draw and Assassin are probably going to dominate for the second perks. And then for three, um, like 90% of the people will probably stick with Dead Silence like they do in Modern Warfare 2. Just because the footsteps are really loud in that game. Black Ops, you really don't need it at all. Unless they're in the same room with you, you can't really hear. Um... I wish they would have put Sit Rep back as a first perk though, so you could have that and Dead Silence like in Call of Duty 4. Makes it kind of annoying, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, now I'll talk about the guns in it, just because it looks like there's going to be actually good submachine guns in this game, which will be cool, just to not have the assault rifles dominate everything. Um, the assault rifles, they're going to bring the M4 back, the M16 is a 3 round burst, the SCAR L, the CM901. The Type 95, which will be a three-round burst. The G36C is coming back, which is uh, pretty good in Call of Duty 4. The ACR, it'll be shoot. It'll have a uh, different um, size am ammunition, so it'll have more kick than the one in Modern Warfare 2, but it'll still likely be pretty good. Uh, the MK14, which will be the only semi-auto assault rifle. The AK, which I think you don't get it till like level 68, which is going to be annoying, or 78. I think there's 80 levels in this new game. And then the FAD. Uh, submachine guns, you get the MP5, the UMP45, 
the PP90N1, the regular P90, the PM9, and the MP7, which the MP7 is a pretty good submachine gun, so it's cool that they got a lot of good submachine guns. Uh, light machine guns, you get the L86, the MG36, PKP, Hechenegg, I think I'm saying that wrong, the MK46, and the M60 from Call of Duty 4. Uh, shortage, you got a full auto. USAS-12, the KSG-12, which is a double barrel shotgun, the full auto AA-12, and then the strikers in the model 1887s are coming back. Hopefully they don't let you have a Kimpo once again. Uh, snipers are going to have the Barrett 50 cal, the L11-8A, which will be a bolt action rifle, the Dragonoff is coming back, the AS-50, and the RSASS. Um, and then there'll be an MSR, which is a bolt action, I don't know what half those sniper rifles are. Uh, Riot Shield will be back, and let me see how far into this video I am. Oh, it's over. So, um, I'll just put a link in the info if anyone wants to check out, like, the secondary, since I guess I don't really have time to talk about them. Um, but, final score of this game was 31-1. and 1. If you like this video and you're not a subscribed, uh, subscribe or check out my other videos. I put a lot more, uh, Call of Duty commentary gameplays up, and I'm gonna start putting Gears commentaries up when that game comes out, so, that's it. Peace, guys.